Let's do a little comparison. Welcome to the channel. My name is Jenny and we do handbags on the channel. We do comparisons, hauls, reviews. If you guys been here before, you know that we just have a little obsession. We love anything accessory, handbags, fashion related, and everything that works for our day to day. So if you guys love handbags, you guys love talking through styles, fashion, anything and everything related, then please consider subscribing. I release two videos per week. And like I said, I love to share the things that are working and maybe not working, and then hopefully help you guys decide if that item is right for you. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please stop by and say hello, and let's just hop right into today's video. So before we get into the comparison, I just wanted to share this little candle set. Isn't it so cute? This is not sponsored. This has nothing to do with anything. I actually received this from my friend for my birthday and I just never shared it. I just think it's so cute. I just wanted to share because you guys know I love a good lilac. This is in a croissant scent. It smells so good and look how cute this little Chanel mini classic is. I think she got this off like an Etsy site. I'm not sure. Like I said, it was a gift, but I just wanted to share it because sometimes the little things that brings happiness in the morning. So when I see those items, I just, it just makes me so happy. Okay, I just thought I would share those with you guys super quickly in the event that you guys love little trinkets and things like that. But today is gonna be a launch on video and we are gonna be talking about, and I think I've mentioned this on my channel before, but Longchamp La Pliage in the medium size. I just honestly love this bag so much. So I wanted to do an updated video on it now. I have so many totes, I have so many bags, but at the end of the day, I always use my Longchamp bag because it is that good and I use this for travel and I also use this for my day-to-day, -day, which is going to the office on the days I need or going to meetings um, because I just love it. Yeah. Then. These are the two and I wanted to do this one because I had some questions before. This one was purchased a few years back. I want to say in 2019, maybe 18. I believe this one I picked up at the airport in like one of my travels. It was, you know, before 2020. I remember that. This one is one I purchased actually just recently. I got this one a week or two ago. And if you guys, like I said, follow me on Instagram or just follow my channel, I had another one that was in the club tote and it was this one right here. It was pink with navy blue or not pink. It was more like a neutral beigey pink. It was so cute. I actually found that one a new home just because I am not really a pink person and I wanted something. Actually, I wanted this bag. So this is the color Cypress and it's like a sage green. I mean, you guys know, right? But this one was a seasonal color. So when I actually went to get this bag, it was no longer available. I was, I looked everywhere and it honestly was no longer available. So it just so happens I was at one of the Longchamp outlets and I came across the Cypress color and they had this in like the duffel version too. They didn't have it in the little mini, but they did have it in my ideal size, which is the medium. So I'm so excited for that because now this has turned into my work bag. I still love this color as well, just because it is very neutral and the blue is very pretty. Um, and this is like one of their classic colors. And I thought I would just do a comparison, but again, I don't need to. I don't wanna have like duplicates of things. So I have limited room. So I am gonna like letting this one go. If you guys are interested in this one, DM me on Instagram or leave me a comment and then, um, yeah, let's just go from there. But if anybody that does purchase this, I will give them an insert for it because I feel like with this bag, you definitely need an insert. So let's just kind of hop in, into the differences and what I have in here. So the main difference is the sizing, everything's the same. The logos all look the same. This one doesn't have as much like, this one has like, I think like a black grain going through as this one does not, but the buttons, everything look the same. The straps look basically the same. Um, 
They both fold up in the event that you want it to travel. This one's in really good condition. There's no corner wear. I actually haven't used this one because I was mainly using my other one um, because I liked the fact that the other one had bigger pockets. Um, so this one is basically brand new and I will give you a really good price with this and the insert. And then this one is the new version. And I don't know, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but the new version, I was so surprised, has two pockets. It has a, this one back here that's bigger. And then it has this small one over here, which I thought was amazing. Now this older version, let me just open it up for you. Looks like this inside. So it is also like the same size and everything, but it doesn't have a pocket here and it only has a pocket over here, but it's still like a generous pocket. And like I said, this is like new. I still have the long shop booklet in here because it's just one big space. Like I said, insert is definitely needed. Um, so if you take a quick peek, here's what the bag inside looks like. And I'll just go through like what's inside because I feel like these videos are always helpful. Before I do that, let me just show you what actually fits. So here is my MacBook Pro. This is 14 inch and it fits perfectly in here along with everything else. And this bag is so like light and airy. It's so good. And like on the days that it's cold, I can literally, and this is a really big jacket. So if I had a smaller sweater, it'd be different, but I could literally hold it like this. Or, you know, when you're at the airport, you have like a jacket, you could just put it on top. Again, this is like a Sherpa, huge fuzzy jacket, but I just wanted to show you guys um, how much it actually fits. So first thing I always carry is my Louis Vuitton agenda because I like to have this because it's like my planner, my calendar, you know, all of that. And I'm very traditional in the fact that like, as, although I use my phone, I use like my reminders, I use my phone calendar for a lot of things. I also like to write things down. I just like to see everything physically in front of me and be able to like use color markers and things to track stuff. It's, I know a lot of people always tell me to transfer everything in to my phone, but I just like to have both, you know what I mean? Okay, this is just for reference. If you wanted to bring a water bottle, obviously you wouldn't bring this one cause you know, but this one's a big one. And this one I picked up, this is my 50th anniversary cup that I picked up when I went to Disney World. It was like a limited edition. I haven't actually even used it, it used it yet because it's so cute. But again, like just so you see, like it fits so much, right? I always carry my um, Sephora makeup pouch. This is just my catch-all inside my work bag. I don't bring this with me like in my purses or anything like that. But in my work bag, I carry like just my you know catch-all stuff. And then, like I said, I put my laptop in here too don't come for me i actually don't use a case i don't use a holder i have enough dividers in my bag that the items don't scratch against this and that is why i feel like an insert whether it's for travel or whether it's for um work is necessary when you're using a lot and then here and then this is what the inside looks like with it i have this insert in here i love it so much it's in a beige color um, and the inside is lined gray and i love the fact that this one has all these little pockets in there to help me organize so again like i just have like chapsticks i have my trader joe's lotion in here and this one actually has a little pocket too like this for you to put like cash or something and then I even have pockets on the outside where I put pens. So let's see, yeah, I have more pens. I, I like to have my variety of pens. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Oh wait, I have one more thing in here. Oh, and then I have a little Sanrio pouch. This one is what I put my charger in. Um, because that laptop is fairly new, the batteries last really, really long, but if it is, if I forget to charge it and I need to go to um, work in the morning, I actually put my charger in this to keep it organized. And this one is just so cute. It is what it, I'm carrying currently in my work bag. 
And then now you guys can see the minor differences between this one and the newer version. Like I said, the Cypress one is no longer online. So they it was seasonal and it's no longer available. But I think if you like called outlet stores or any other um, stores might have some leftover inventory, you will be able to find this. I just like it so much. Lastly, you guys know I also have this La Pliage. Um, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name. Filt? I'm so sorry, I always butcher, butcher names. But yeah, this is the collab they did and I know it's super popular. I mean, I bought it because I love this color. I think it's so cute. I've worn it with like a scarf inside to create a lining and I take this to the pool and stuff. But I think the size just doesn't work out for me because if I'm going to the pool or I'm going to the, like the farmer's market, I like to have a really big space. Now, this one is just not big enough for me and I probably only use this twice as well, but it is super cute. So if you guys are interested, I will be letting this one go too, these two. And just so you guys know, every now and then, um, I will, if I purchase like similar bags, if same item, different color, things like that, I just want to kind of clean out my stuff because, you know, one bag in, other bag out, it doesn't make sense for me to hoard all these bags so I'm not using it. And these are like new conditions. So again, if you guys are interested in either of these, feel free to DM me. Other than that, that's just a little what's inside my work bag and a little comparison. I love doing videos like this just because I personally love watching what's inside my work bag videos. And I just think this one, um, it's interesting to see like what people carry. Although what I carry isn't that interesting, but I still had fun sharing it. If you guys love videos like this, please consider giving me a like and like always. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.